it's Jo McFarlane here of Jo McFarlane Limited Candle Maker uh, based in Scotland. I've been making candles for the past 10 years. Um, what my passion is, is teaching candle making and I have the enormous pleasure of doing that um, at an in-person workshop at my studio and also a live Zoom session. We have one of those a month. So if you'd like to make in your own kitchen, you can order one of the kits online and then join us via the, loom set, the Zoom session even, and also uh, my online training. Um, this is my weekly blog, welcome. Uh, please like, share and subscribe, uh, not to miss out the other blogs that are gonna help you on your candle making journey, no matter where you are. I do help people from a complete beginner. If you've never made a candle before in your life, I'm here to help and support you whether you are just want to make it for family and friends or if you'd like to start your own candle making business. I have helped loads of women all over the world do that and I'd love to help you too. So let's talk about um, my various ways of attaching the candle wick to the bottom of the glass. Now there's a few different methods. I'm going to tell you five today. Um, try them all, see which one you prefer. Um, and I'll tell you which one that I use. So um, first of all, we have wax glue, which comes as a sort of um, blob, if you'd like to say, of um, sticky candle making uh, glue. Now you can just take a tiny little bit off the bottom and then add it onto your wick and then add it onto the glass. This is quite a quick method. I do quite enjoy that, but I do feel that it doesn't um, attach the wick for the entire burn of the candle. My preferred method is using a wick sticker or otherwise you, uh, known as a wickham. Um, you can just peel off, it's a double-sided um, little round dot. You can peel it off, add it onto the bottom of your wick, peel off the other side and then add it onto the, the bottom of your uh, candle jar. It is very time consuming. If you're gonna do this method, make sure that you get the ones that have the slight little bit of a tab on the side. Otherwise, if you end up with a big sheet of dots and they don't have a tab, you are gonna spend ages trying to peel those off. Um, the other method is a glue gun. I don't personally own a glue gun, but I do know a few people that actually use um, you know, you can you can use that. I'm just not very, I think that would be quite time consuming and I think all the glue would end up coming out and I don't know, I'm not a fan. Um, the other um, method is um, glue dots, which um, I think are okay, as long as they're from a candle making supply, you can, um, you can peel them off. I actually, the very first time that I um, a shipment arrived, I thought, gosh, they've actually forgotten to put the glue dots on because it's actually quite transparent when you hold it up. There's not much. So that, that could be quite pernickety. I think it's fine if you're making a small amount of candles, but it can be, I don't know, I tended to get bits stuck everywhere and there's bits of my hair and um, yeah, it was just a little bit messy. And my last method is which I have tried twice, failed twice. So I haven't, I won't be, I won't be trying it a third time. Um, and that is a method that I would call the naked method. And that is where you're actually pouring the candle wax into the unwicked jars. And then you wait until the film starts to set on the top. And then you actually just push the wick through with no sticker, so it's not, yes, it's going in the middle, yes, it's going to the bottom of the glass, but there's no method to um, attach it to the bottom of the glass. Um, so you're basically, I could imagine you're pouring, um, you're really pushing it through with um, like a wooden skewer or the thermometer, the digital thermometer, you're pushing it right through. The very first time I did it, the phone went and the candle set, without any wick in them. So that was a bit of a disaster. And I thought, no, no, let's try this again. You know, you've got this. I just didn't like the, um, I found that the, the top of the candle was a bit of a mess afterwards. I don't own um, a heat gun. So um, yeah, that's not my, that's not my chosen method. Anyway, I'd love to know what you use. Please email me, joe at joemcfarland.com. I'd love to know your feedback um, about what you use. Um, I do think it's important that you get the wick stuck to the bottom of the glass because then when it does heat up, 
especially um, you don't want the wick floating to the side of the glass. In turn, it'll heat up the glass and potentially crack it. So I do think it's really important to get your wick centered and stuck to the bottom of the glass. But I'd love to know um, your feedback. Please on, hop onto the other blogs, joemcfarland.com forward slash blog. Please like, share and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you.